the nine highest paying degrees over a lifetime. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to be talking about the highest paying college majors over a lifetime, AKA over the last 40 years or so. So this is always interesting to look at. Um, this isn't necessarily what's gonna happen over the next 40 years, but it's good to see what happened over the last little bit. So if you appreciate this type of video, go ahead, let me know by jackhammering that like button and let's jump right into it. So number nine on the list is going to be industrial and manufacturing engineering. So here's how much you'd make over a lifetime approximately according to this list. Now keep in mind, I don't know the methodology of the study, so don't pay so much attention to the number itself, pay more attention to where it is in regards to the other majors. And at the very end, I'm gonna show all 32 majors that are on this list. So with this one, you'd expect to make about $86,000 a year according to Glassdoor. And if you look up industrial engineering on LinkedIn, sort by jobs, sort by entry level, you're gonna see 28,000 results. Number eight is going to be civil engineering. According to Glassdoor, civil engineers make $78,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you're gonna see 73,000 results. Next one on the list is mechanical engineering. According to Glassdoor, mechanical engineers make about $80,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, at the entry level, there is a whopping 109,000 results. Next one on the list is electrical engineering. Now, according to Glassdoor, electrical engineers make $87,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, there is an even better 149,000 results. And the next one on the list, number five, is gonna be computer engineering. According to Glassdoor, computer engineers make $73,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you are gonna see 109,000 results. So excellent as well. Next on the list is gonna be energy and extraction engineering, right? So this is kind of like petroleum engineering, for instance. But honestly, there's a lot of different type of energy related engineering these days. But yeah, if you type in energy engineer on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $89,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 35,000 results at the entry level. Next one on the list is aerospace engineering. According to Glassdoor, they make about $95,000 a year. And according to LinkedIn, there are 15,000 results at the entry level. And finally, number one on the list is going to be chemical engineering. According to Glassdoor, they make about $100,000 a year. And on LinkedIn, at the entry level, you are gonna see 23,000 results. So yeah, a lot of engineering related degrees here. Not surprised to see that at all. I do think in the next 40 years, computer science is gonna be either number one or at least in the top three. But it is interesting to see this list. Um, I'll go over the rest of the ones on the list as well. I'll put it up on the screen here while I talk about them. So as you can see, chemical engineering is number one at about 2.2. 2.3 million or so. Uh, do keep in mind the methodology of this list. Like they probably made a heck of a lot more than that. Because for instance, on other lists, you see the engineers make over 3.5 million over a lifetime. So just keep in mind the methodology is probably off. Don't pay attention to the number pay attention to the order of where it's at compared to the other majors. So yeah, engineering degrees absolutely dominated. They were on top. Computer science degrees are coming up. You do see uh, an economics degree. That's a social science degree. It's the best one by far. You do see quite a few business degrees as well, right? You got operations and logistics. You got finance. You got accounting. There's even a few science related degrees in there as well. You've got earth and other physical sciences. So those would be like the geology type degrees. So yeah, take a good look at that list. Also keep in mind as well, now that we're in modern times, Times, there are other ways to get into these high paying careers for engineering careers for health related careers for instance you absolutely have to get the degree right you have to get the degree in order to get licensed and start working they're not going to let you design an airplane or something like that without you know having that degree and they're also not going to let you work on somebody like as a nurse assisting a surgeon unless you have a degree but there are tons of careers out there especially in technology and business where you can get into them without a degree I've talked about this quite a bit on the channel course careers is a great example of a company that helps you get into careers without a degree. For instance, Della was able to go from being a stay-at-home mom attending college part-time to getting into a career where she's making over $100,000 at her dream company. And she was able to do this by using a company called Course Careers. And Course Careers does have a free training, which I'll leave down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. That is the free training. They also have more advanced training where you know they're gonna really tell you what you need to know in order to get into a career. And you'll also have access to a community of people who are also trying to get into that career. So that really helps. And then on top of that, they get you guaranteed interviews with their partner companies. And if you choose to use that service, I do have a coupon. It is Shane50. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment as well. So definitely don't leave. Click here to check out that interview with Della.